Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Granddaddy Place. Hades, the Superstar Update. Um, I'm going to try out the Zagreus aspect. The aspect named after me, which is pretty neat. And apparently what this is gonna do is give me a bigger bonus uh, super shot window. Knowing how actually terrible I used to be or tend to be with those. That seems to be pretty nice. I actually invested a full range of keys into that one. And hopefully we will be able to get something good out of that. Also, it looks nice to have a legendary in here right from the start, right? Let's go. This looks like I should be able to get bounties in here. With three keys. So let's begin the escape. This Hope that we get something good. Something. And hope for a great run. Starting with the hammer immediately. That's pretty, pretty okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take that one. That's for certain. Let's actually see how it works with the power shot. The explosive shot. It still takes a long time to actually get there. That's good to know. I'm... I, I will at least try to get more power shots out of that. It's taking a long time to charge now with the explosive shot, but maybe it will be worth the while. I mean, as you can see, the damage is absolutely insane already, so there's no complaints coming from me here. And boom. I can also just apparently hold the button down a bit longer to get that good aiming in. Nice. The boldest strategy often prevails, especially with my support. Well, in that case, thanks for your loyalty and support. What do you get? Divine Dash. Always a good thing to start out with. Would have liked the attack, I suppose, but, you know... This is a good way to start the game as well. So a regular power shot without using a dash attack before. 240 base damage. Just with the explosive shot. That is pretty, pretty nice. Maybe we'll go hard to try to get the perfect, fully charged power shot built up in here. Oh. It's nice. Just being able to deal so much damage against these jokers. He was about to charge me, but I did not let him. Because I don't like being damaged, but I do like dealing all the damage. That's one. That's the other one. There. One more. Who's next? Yeah, they have no chance. Uh, all the way up in there. I don't know if it's because of the thing I have, the aspect. Or if it's because of the explosive shot. But I feel like my... Shots, they have a bit more range to them right now. Uh, if I don't... There you can hit you. Poseidon with this. Sure. I had a Poseidon bow run in the past. It was pretty, pretty nice. Maybe we can get a repeat on that in here. At least I would like that. Took that joke around. Oh, so hold still. Hold still like that. Good damage. That's him. Relatively well, I hope. But hope alone is worthless without action, is it not? So here, let's act together. Let's act together. What do you have? Special? Nah. Oh my god, I just realized. This special, together with the Aki um, the Chiron aspect, could be amazing. It's high tide. I actually have to remember, remember that one. For the future. And Hermes. Sure. Always a pleasure, Charon. Faster special, second wind. I think the second wind's gonna be good. And here we go. Stronger dash, stronger call, yes. Do I want the HP? Not really, not right now. 
I still really, really like the added fact that we can now just actually erase these ghosts. Not that they have ever bothered me, don't get the wrong idea. It's just a nice added bit of content, you know? And I appreciate that. Here's a chest. We stop with Poseidon and me, of course. I say of course, even though it would have been better to start off with Athena. Damn. Clearly we are not. I ask only for your cooperation, yet still you turn your back. Apparently I do. I need it, I guess. I guess you are onto something there, my boy. Oh, them having these shields is the worst. Shields and armor. This one. That's his armor down. That's his everything down, which is also very nice. Good. There. And you. All is forgiven, Tiberius, and I take no offense. Exacting vengeance is just something we Olympians all do from time to time. I gotta say, her wrath doesn't feel as terrible as I remember it. I think they have nerfed it one or two times in between, but it used to be absolutely heinous for a while. Sometimes enemies were just spawning below you, and you would immediately suffer damage from that. That is the uh, stuff I'm talking about here. The kind of not-so-enjoyable stuff that would keep you up at night. Or wake you up at night. After having a nightmare about this situation. I mean, just imagine happen that happening in real life. Some kind of enemy, some kind of fiend just appearing down below you, below your feet, and immediately radiating some kind of energy field. That's the kind of stuff that usually only happens in fiction. And it's good. It's good that it is limited to the realm of fiction, because that sounds, at least to me, scary as hell. <sighs> Man, you know what? It just feels so good to have the explosive shot. It's just one of my absolute comfort boons for the bow. Makes playing the weapon so nice, so clean, so easy. I really, 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 really like it a lot. More gemstones. And that guy. You cannot escape. I can try. Where are my enemies? There. Took out that joke in one shot. That one, not quite. Not quite. It feels like... Okay, hear me out on that one. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm crazy. I felt like for a moment like my attack was now that I have the Poseidon attack. I felt like it was dealing less damage than it did before I picked it up. I forgot the distinction between regular attacks and dash attacks. Dash attacks are weaker than regular attacks that you fire while just not dashing before. It's pretty easy to forget that. At least for me. Um, oh, I took brilliant repos. I actually thought that was a debuff. Let's take the strong divine dash then. Some HP, sure. And go meet the lovely sisters. I'm back, ladies. Here we go, sisters. Can you feel the flow, sisters? Say, sister, so, sisters. You know, come get me. See how good it will do you. Oh. There's the first part. She's angry now. Now she's still angry. Oh. Don't you do it. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Where is she? That was a big amount of damage. 
Apache is down. Damn you, indeed. That was nice. The other two took off. As they should. Before I give them a good beating, too. Or the other way around. Let's not get too, too crazy in here. And I of Lamia. Yes, sure. And... Who do I want to go with here? I kind of feel like Athena would be a good call because she can give me her legendary right now. So let's do that. Going up. Getting the legendary would be a huge help. Also, just look nice having two legendaries at this point already. And after that, Poseidon can also maybe give me his legendary if the stars align. Don't think I have had met any gods aside from Poseidon and Athena yet, right? That's all for you. Who's next? Hold still. Hold still! Thank you. Got a little bit of one slam action in there. Ah, oh, this feels good. I don't think I get a lot of usage out of my power shots. But here's the thing, I don't care. I'm just so happy to have the explosive shot in general. Guys, if you ever had struggle playing with a bow, if you feel it is hard to play, hard to hit with, just get explosive shot every run. It's an absolute bow run winner in my book. Didn't used to always be the case, but it certainly is now. Oh. This one. And hold still, hold still. There you go. Certainly no legendary, but we have a diva, which is very, very nice. No need for darkness. But I do have a need for this well. And also need to see the girl in here. Where you at, my girl? Where you at? Be careful around that Joker. Two shots. And... Three shots there, but that's okay. I wasn't pulling the string all the way back anyway. He stepped into the magma, he dropped the snack, he's dead, and he's going to follow suit. Feels nice so far, this run. Um, don't think I really want the special. Let's take the phalanx shot. You honor me. Having a good cast on these runs is always a nice thing to have. Aphrodite, 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 yes! Let's get out of here. Having a weakening effect is always a nice thing. That's a bullfight again. It's a bullfight. Yeah. Somebody lost the spine of the world in here. Need to get that shielder out here. The void stone! That was bad damage. That was all the bad damage. You know, it would be nice if you could actually throw enemies off this boat. Throw them off this boat and then they immediately die. Wouldn't that be just the nicest? I mean, it would be nice for me. Probably less so for the enemies. But at the end of the day, this is a very egotistical game. You really need to constantly be on the lookout for yourself. Watch your back around these jokers. Otherwise, you will likely get hurt somewhat fiercely. And getting hurt, trust me on this one, not something you want to get on this game. The only case where getting hurt is productive is usually against... Meeting chaos. You promise, little godling. We need you in good shape and spirits on Olympus here. If you say so. Heart rent break flourish. Sure. Much appreciated. And Hermes too. By the way, this now opens me up for two duo boons. Two duo boons, yes. I come with urgent tidings, boss. Unfortunately, not a 
address to you. Someone got you these. <laughs> Why, thank you. Anyway, kind of makes me wonder who these urgent tidings are going to now. Speed. Fast attack. Hopefully pretty good. 10 minutes, 10 seconds until the run exactly as of this moment. And this guy. It's time. Yeah, it's time, I suppose. Really was not looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, you hear the boy? Ugh. My god, these guys are so jittery. Let's kill these guys. They go down easy. He's actually having a lead on me now. Oh, man. But as long as these brimstones spawn, I have, a, I have a chance to still win this. So far, so good. That it is. And I'm not a fan. There you go. We won? Just barely so. Come on. I'm going. Yes, please be gone. That's a relief. There's a well, some HP, don't need. There's a shop and anything I can sell or want to sell for that matter. No, not really. Alright, shop time it is, and then we go fight the snake oiled up Hydra again. Should be an interesting fight, I would say. Just tidying up a bit. Nothing interesting in here, huh? Nothing particularly interesting. I'll take the HP. Oh man, I would have liked to meet Eurydice again. I think we would have had some crucial plot progression for that. Maybe the next run. Nothing to say, huh? Think you're better than me, huh? Makes you wonder what the Hydra would say if it could speak. I don't know. I think the Hydra would be talking about food a lot. Which immediately would make it be on good terms with me, because I also like to talk about food. I have this one working colleague of mine, he's called Andre. And we don't get to work all that often together, but this week we actually had the chance. And working with him is pretty, pretty nice, because we have a lot of topics in common and one of them just happens to be food last saturday i bought myself an air fryer and i told him about that he was interested in the matter and he was super into the idea of making chicken wings on them believe me or not we were discussing that topics for an entire work day eight hours of working straight nothing but chicken wings in an air fryer uh, needless to say, I actually went and bought me some chicken wings after that working day, and they were amazing. Barbecue honey. They have an amazingly smoky aroma. And they were so amazing that I actually went and bought me even more just the day after. Guys, if you have a friend or a working colleague like that, one with whom you can discuss the truly, truly important matters in life. This is one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. If you have a guy like that, treasure that relationship and care for that relationship. Because those people with whom you can do these kind of things, they are very rare special treasures. So yeah, Hydra, if you ever find it in yourself to develop the ability of speech and you want to talk to me about some of the more substantial topics in life, I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you and I will treasure you. Oh, I can see you coming. Never seen it coming, huh? Don't worry, won't be long. Like this. Uh, let's go with Poseidon. Let's go with Poseidon. Got some of his greatest boons in here. Light of Ixion, I don't think I'm going to need that. <sighs> I really like this bounty system, man. Simply because it makes me actually have a reason to play a little bit heat, and because I get amazing rewards out of that. And there's Poseidon. Let's go, hey. Let's go say hey. 
Let them come. They got nothing on me. Who's next? Don't get the wrong idea. No. I still really want to see this fully charged attack build come to fruition. So if I'm being offered some of the better, more useful, more reliable attack-related hammer wounds later, I will take them. This is rough because I really want to take the Typhon's Fury, but Sweet Nectar is a dual boon and I cannot say no to dual boons. I just can't. Zeus, huh? Yes. He will only be able to give me some of his passive boons, or I have to replace one of my boons. Which I would absolutely be okay with, all things considered. If I could replace my Wrath effect for his, I think that would be the best we could hope for here. Good shot, good damage. Still Saturday as I'm recording this episode. The second one I'm doing today, and I think that after I'm done with this, I will go and get myself ready because I still have some things to do. By now, the people who have watched my videos for a couple of days, they by now more or less know how my Saturday is looking like. I do some Saturday morning recordings. I think I have went through the worst part of morning voice by now. Then I get ready, move out, see my butcher, buy some meat for the week. Remember, you've as many chances as it takes, young man, to fight your way out of the dark and join us in the splendor of Olympus. That may be so. Uh, all of them pretty good, but I think I'll take the Heaven's Vengeance in here. I don't know if Heaven's Vengeance actually qualifies as a potential... Oh, I have to take this one. As a potential... what's it called? Prerequisite for some of the duo boons he can give. I hope it does. And there's the Legendary. Pretty nice. No. Look here, little godling. Let me save you lots of future suffering. I happen to be the jealous type. If you say so. So here's something I never address, but I gotta say that I really like that piece of accessory she has in her hair. I have no idea what it is even called, but it looks nice. I swear, you could probably make a killing by just making a market for all these fiction fashion brands. I mean, some people actually do that. They have shirts, sweatshirts and all the likes. Modeled after Marvel superheroes, some of the bigger anime characters. It's pretty neat. But I feel like you would really have to make that a big business. Especially after the success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Those are the kind of clothes you would want to sell on Mars. Not really making an exclusive product. I think that is one for the Mars production. Let's just say we kissed and made up, dearest. Just do not anger me again, or I might come down and kill you there myself. I will keep that in mind. It probably won't ever come to realization but we'll keep it in mind there's Zeus again yes let's go kind of amazing that I keep seeing Zeus in here even though I was going for the Poseidon keepsake last it don't go there there you go That's a big ball of love being dealt with. Not quite. There. Let him recover. Oh, there were two of them, too. Oh. And that's it for you. You got nothing on me. I gotta deflect on you, though. So much for these jokers. Okay, Zeus, something good. Static Discharge, Cloud of Judgment. Jolt, it could be nice, I suppose. Billowing Strength as well. 
Mmm, rough choices. Rough, rough choices. I think the Belong Strength is going to be the best one in here. Cheers. And there's the hammer. See, I said no to them at two times. Did not regret it. He went very far with that jump. I think that's because I actually hit him with a knockback while he was airborne with a jump. It was kind of hilarious. It's one, two... And... Damn. I was hoping I could get the chop off and then the dash attack, but it wasn't. It wasn't in the cards, apparently. It's nice. Fools blasting themselves is always nice. Oh! Got stuck. <laughs> Damn. That was easily one of my worst wrath effects. In history. But it was worth it. Triple shot. Yes, please. You know what? Perfect shot. Also kind of interesting. God knows I love triple shot explosive shot. But I have to go with this. Excellent. If you say so. Whatever, let's, try it. let's get a that charge in here. You think? I think that was one of the best decisions I've ever done. I have to be careful around this Joker. Where? There you are. Thought you would have been running off. Disappointing for these so-called champions. Oh, they're doing fine. Trust me, these so-called champions are your best frontliners. Especially the ones wielding shields and spears. Last stand, I would say yes. Also, yes to those. And that is just a key and darkness. We take those. I've actually been spending keys left and right on the broker store simply because I wanted to get these better ketonic keys for some upgrades. Can't believe that hit me. Oh. Good. Huge damage. I really would need to have crits on top of this, don't I? 326 is pretty nice. What else? Oh yeah, so far the damage looks pretty, pretty nice. Maybe something like the sniper upgrade. Where I get more damage at max range would also be kind of nice. I think I could work with that. <laughs> nice trap damage that Joker took there. Nothing else to be seen here though. But I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty afraid about the fight against the Beef Boy duo. Those guys have been giving me a run for my money lately. So yeah, I'm not going to take a Chaos Curse into that fight, I think. Oh my god, I said I think. That is... Guys, if you ever hear someone talk and he says that TH sound like an S, like I just did, think. That is how you immediately spot a true German. Don't believe the media that makes you believe that every German sounds like he's from Bavaria with a very weird accent. Don't believe that all of us are just screaming like crazy and talk like we were coming from 60 years in the past. That is the true sign. That is the true way how you recognize a German guy talking English. Spanning out the TH like an S. I have no idea how that ever came to be, but it always was like that for everyone, not only for me. It always was like that starting elementary school. 
Back when I went to the elementary school, we did not learn English in the first few grades. I think I only learned it when I went to... Mm, what is it called? Middle school? Okay. Grades 5 to 10? I think it's middle school. That's when we officially learned, started to learn English. My mother, she taught me some English before that. She started to teach me back when I was in kindergarten, actually, which was pretty good. Ah, uh, sure, let's buy the common here. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have that dual boon, that's good. That's actually amazing. Let's put that into Sweet Serena, 70% more damage. But I actually had a free course of English in school in the third grade. And that's when everyone started to spell out that TH sound like that. Yeah, don't call me a monster. As far as I'm concerned, you are the monster. No. Oh, you got me all the way over there. What a man. So it would seem. What are you ready for, my boy? So here's something I just realized. I also have the chance to get the Aphrodite legendary. And I don't like that. I don't want to be chanted like that by her. I don't want her legendary right now. Not like this. Damn. That should be Theseus. Oh. Only said damage is huge. No. Thanks for running to that. Ooh, boy. So much for you, huh? So much for you. That's all for today's show. Yep. But tune back in tomorrow for the next episode of The Beef and the Boy. Maybe I okay. Guess travels fast. I think I haven't seen Poseidon on this floor at all, have I? I don't think I actually have. Damn. What a waste of a keepsake. I think I can sell this off now. Yeah, let's do it. One less knowing me, knowing myself, I won't be buying a lot of palms in here. And I will probably just go reroll most of them away anyway. Let's see. I'm actually super tempted to just go and buy the hammer immediately. Something I can use. And you know what? Sure, let's do it. For that. Piercing barrage, triple shot, sniper shot. So the deadliest bow of all. That should deal hideous damage. Absolutely disgusting damage. This one, I guess. Let's see if it's true. Uh, I don't know yet. That seems to be okay at the very least. That was a hit for around 500-ish. 400. Close to 500 actually. Damn. Don't burn up. It's not as fun as it would sound. Not as fun as it would seem. I mean, imagine if I would get a crit on top of this hit. That could easily be very, very big. 500 times 3? I would say it would be amongst the highest I have ever seen. Now we're getting there. I really don't know if actually going for these power shots is really the most powerful way to go the bow because this works. You don't get as strong shots, but you get a lot of them out pretty, pretty fast. Especially if I would have taken the triple shot, which I wanted to, by the way, which I really, really wanted to. Hello, big rat. Oh. Trust me, guys, I really wanted to do that. Explosive shot. 
triple shot is the lazy man's combo to the bone. If you are not that good at using the bow's attack, if you feel like you're just missing a lot, that is the combo you take if you just want to hit everything you do and represent. Oh man, the rat's actually coming in my way. Of my shots in between there, and that's not so good. But well, they're getting a lot of small bites out of me, and every time they do, lightning strikes on them. Breaking wave razor shots, yes. That will give me a bit of an easier time applying another debuff on those. Fools. And how much money do we have? Enough for the other Poseidon boom as well. Second wave. Look at that, three legendaries. Feel good. And let's actually start looking for a reroll here. One more. That's good. That's great. Let's go. More of the side. Such is your fate, boys. It's no use. Anything? <laughs> Nothing I can afford because I'm poor. I uh, could take the Hydra Gold, but I don't think it's necessary in here. Oh. Hello, boys. Hello, little boys, little toys. Something I want to sell? I could sell this off again right off the bat, but I don't want to. Three legendaries, even though one of them is an aspect. How could I say no to that? And Aphrodite, still able to also give me run. Not sure how much usage I would get out of that, but I am more than willing to find out. First of all, let's see. Poseidon. Oh, bunch of rats, bunch of vermin, and some more money. More money. There's a big rat. And... There. I almost pushed him away so far with my attack and the legendary that I wasn't able to get more than one hit in on him. What? Don't be empty. Nice. That was good damage. And that's it for you. <laughs> Sweet nectar again. You goof. Um, I could take it again on the off chance that I might be able to sell it off again. But I think the breaking wave is going to be a bit more impactful here. Let's go. How's my money looking like? Money, 185. I mean, I could and probably should save up for that Hermes boom if we can get it. What irritated you there, Zack? What gave you a sudden case of the confusion? He said what there, like something unexpected happened. And I have no idea what that was. Alright, next floor. Next room. These guys, huh? Oh my god. Just slamming around like crazy. Tempest Strike, Brill and Repost. Yes, I can actually sell that off without a doubt. I won't be needing that. Oh, that's cold. Cold as ice, you would say. And we are still not closer to the end. But we actually are getting closer to knocking this Joker into a wall for all the damage. Just like that. <laughs> he was just Beyblading from one wall to the next, ricocheting like crazy. Still have some rerolls open too. Whoa. The legendary of Athena protected me from that trap damage. So here's something I don't know. Can these small rats actually trigger traps? 
I really, really don't know. In the name of Hades. Life affirmation empty inside. That's gonna be good. I feel fabulous. Empty inside. Something so that I don't need to use my special all that often to keep my weakening effects on the enemies. And passing through diff dash. Faster special. Yeah, sure. Doesn't feel that much faster, but I like it anyway. What did I take? Empty inside. Okay. Um, we go for that, and then we try to reroll the HP there as well. Why are low there? You guys will not last that long. See? My prophecies almost always come true. Such is your fate. I would be mad about this being the last chamber either. Oh. Come here, come here. And there you go. <laughs> I shot him, blasted him through the room. He came back right in front of me, only to be blasted again. What a poor, poor guy. These guys. Man, I just love seeing all these knockback effects. Nope. Is that enough for you? Not quite. Oh, good. I was actually considering buying myself a controller. Spend spirit, huh? Sure. Strength of the goddess. I was actually considering buying myself a controller just because I want to know how this game plays with controller. Okay, full clear, as always. Let's go hard on the rerolls. Go hard on the rerolls. Zeus. Not the god I would have expected to see in here. But I'm more than willing to give him a try. Not quite sure what he can realistically offer me in here. But I am, of course, more than willing to find out all about that. And, yeah, this is not anything in here I want to sell off. Hello, boys and girls. Daddy the Grant here to ruin your day in this corridor. Don't worry, it will only take a short moment. See? Now you're dead. No, Zeus, just... something good? Thunder Dash, Jolted and Clouded Judgment. I think I take the Jolted in here. Very good. Give me that too. Uh, and we're good to go. Not enough money for one of the palms though. Which makes me feel a bit smart about having sold off that. Sweet nectar. Okay, I don't think this fight is gonna be trouble at all. This fight is going to be pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty clean. Won't be able to get a lot of good snipe shots out, but that's okay. Crisp cold air. Anything to say? The heavens and the seas belong to my brothers. Oh, I've heard that one before. But know that you are still in my domain. Not for long. Not for long, my boy. It's actually already, I think... Damn. It should be around eight weeks from this point onward, I think. Eight weeks, a few days, and we will have another update coming our way. Which is good. Which I do like a great deal. Which I am very much looking forward to. Come here, princess. There you go. Oh, damage is okay, I would say. That I do. Stubborn oath. A lot. Actually, I should make an obstacle effort to pulling him into this spot. That's exactly where I wanted you to be. So I can get that juicy, juicy knockback damage up here. I don't care if that one's coming back. He didn't even come back, damn. Come out of your shell. 
Let me get that knocking back damage in on you. Oh. I don't appreciate this, brother Poseidon. Neither do I. I did not really notice that my bar was already fully filled. That was a good shockwave. Come here. Join me. Join me. Join me. Come over here. That's exactly where I want you to be. Here I can get the knockbacks off just nicely. And 50%. Just hold it. Hold it. And that is going to put a huge numb on you. And we are almost close to being done. Apparently I wasn't getting all that knockback damage there. Look at that, we look just the same. You being invincible, me being invincible. It's like we are related or something. Even our clothing looks pretty similar. Yes. So here's something I always wondered. What even is that animal supposed to be of which he rears a skull on his shoulder? That is something I always wondered. By the way, it just looks nice to have three legendaries in here. Always a good thing to have. As he explores the wonders of the world, Prince Zagris discovers a quaint farm in which he carelessly trespasses. Stepping on a farming tool, which swoops up and strikes him in the forehead, fatally. Leaving the comedy aside, I am sure, I am absolutely convinced that we will see this farm in the game at some point. And I am absolutely convinced that that farm is going to be where we find Persephone. That farm is going to be her garden, and she will be busy being a farmer there. If you say so, first of all, let's give him a good old petting. And Orpheus has something he wants to tell us. Goodbye, boy. Always a pleasure seeing you here. Say, Orpheus, Eurydice told me your songs. Some of them came from her. She seems quite brilliant. You choose your muse as well. You absolutely did, my boy. I owe my everything to my Eurydice. She authored many of my songs indeed. And she inspired many, many more. Whilst living, we collaborated frequently, you see. I see. But weren't you the famous one? I don't understand why she doesn't share your renown. Hmm. It is but one of life's injustices, I fear. It's true. I always sang her praises every chance I had. And she asserted herself splendidly. Hmm. Yet even still, our listeners believed our songs, they came from me. What else could I have done? That's a good question. I don't exactly know the ways of mortals, mate. But I'm pleased to hear you always giving credit where it's due. Oh, at least he's... <laughs> at least he's saying that he does, and he's telling it to us that way, so I am inclined to believe what he says. But on the other hand, she says that she didn't, and in fact he didn't tell us before she did, so that's actually something to keep in mind in here. Let's give this shade some work. Oh, look at that. We can get that lounge fire pit in here. Here you go. Should make the climate in the lounge a bit more comfortable for some of us. Mm, we shall see. Looks nice. Can't buy any of the music pieces there, I think. No sign of Dusa. No sign of Dusa, but we have a fireplace in here. That's going to take a while until we have this place fully decored out. Um, I think I haven't listened to these songs last time, did I? Mouth of Sticks? I think that's one of the overall music themes and yeah I actually listened to them last time I think I did I think I did I should have anyway guys thanks for watching that was a interesting one but I think that we can all agree that Sharana's Pact is the obvious big big winner of the bow for sure next one we're going to have the sword again and Maybe I'll put some of my keys into this one, see if the movement speed you get from that is actually making a difference. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, have the greatest of days.